briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the landmark 1969 case of Red Lion Broadcasting Company v. Federal Communications Commission, the Supreme Court upheld the constitutional power of the government to regulate how broadcasters function. The case revolved around the FCC's Fairness Doctrine, which mandates a balanced coverage of public issues and whether broadcasters had adhered to this in their programming. Central to the issue was the interpretation of the First Amendment rights of broadcasters. The FCC had enforced regulations under the Fairness Doctrine, requiring broadcasters to give a fair opportunity for counterpoints in a debate, especially when someone or a particular group had been directly identified in the discourse on public issues. This directive from the FCC was directly challenged by the Red Lion Broadcasting Company. In a significant broadcast, the company had launched what could be considered a personal attack. The Court of Appeals had held the FCC's position as constitutional, setting the stage for a deeper examination of the legality of the Fairness Doctrine. As the Supreme Court evaluated the judgments of the two lower courts, it affirmed the decision made in favor of the FCC in the Red Lion case and reversed the decision of the RTNDA case remanding them for further investigations. The Supreme Court upheld the requirement for broadcasters to provide a chance for a reply to personal attacks and political editorials, asserting that this does not conflict with the First Amendment. The decision marked a critical judgment in the ongoing debate of balancing free speech and public interest. The government was recognized as having a valid role in managing broadcast frequencies and ensuring that these channels are used effectively to serve the public interest. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.